You can plunder my dungeon any Oh, no, no, no. We did not need that line. We did not need that line. Mm, some things I wish I could unhear and unsee. I'm not going to lie. Today I was going to watch Ratatouille. That was going to be today's video. But then 17 again has been on my list for a while and I've done so many commentaries at this point that I kind of want to just do a reaction. So we're going to watch 17 again. Now, I know I've said this as a reaction. However, I remember seeing parts of this film, but I couldn't tell you one thing that happens in this film or what the parts I saw were. It's like it happened to me in another life, this film. So after watching The Greatest Showman, I'm kind of in the mood for some more Zac Efron content. I'm a Zac Efron fan, so I'll watch anything he's in. But yeah, so today I thought I'd react to 17 again. Cause why not? I wanted to see what it's about and I shall see. So if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. It means the world to me. And while you're there, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload. As well as that, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, that's fine. I was gonna force you to like it because you still have our free will for now. And if you wanna follow me on social media, I'm not gonna pay for your therapy, but Instagram is at Rebecca Rose with an X over the first E and Twitter is at Rebecca Rose with an X over the second E. Bam. I think that's it. Okay, I'm gonna be annoying and instantly make a prediction about this film. I know it's about a character wishing he could redo his past. That's what like the blurb says, the description. So I'm guessing he's gonna become 17 again, hence the title, but then realize that every moment from his past he does not need to undo because it led to being who he was today. So then he's fine with being his age and he'll revert back to his current state. That's my prediction. If I get it right, there's no reward, but my self-esteem. So. Free ride to college and the world's your oyster, kid. Ah. Gotcha. Previous Efron's gonna mess this up. Left my party in the middle of a battle with the hippogriff. Check it out. It's Merlin the girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There was literally not one thing funny about that joke. <laughs> this is like alternate dimension Glee Club performance. But Shu wasn't invited. I know somewhere he's screaming. Hey, Vanilla Ice! We got a game here? Let's bring it in. He's got his head in the game. No? Ooh, Scar here is not feeling it. Is Scar gonna die? Is Scar dying? And his life goes downhill. You know, we can talk about it no, later. No, no, just tell me. No, Scar is dying. No, go enjoy it. I can't enjoy it unless you tell me what's going on. Scar's gonna tell him that she's dying. He's gonna mess up the game and not get his scholarship and his whole life will be ruined. I can feel it. Zach just wants to break out into a musical moment, but now's not the time. This is not the genre we're in right now. Mike dropped everything for a girl. His whole future. She must be dying. What are you doing? You and me, we're in this together. All in this together. You the have The baby's my future. That's crazy, You're Mike. Not... Oh, it's not murder. She is pregnant. Okay, plot twist. Okay, but is the child even his? That's another question. It's Matthew Perry! Legend! <laughs> kind of, you know, convenient that his poster said the day the earth stood still, foreshadowing his future. Do I know you? No, but I know you. He's like a fairy godmother, I can already tell. I... Old man janitor here is a fairy godmother, sussed it. He's got that gravelly voice, he knows too much, too much wisdom. I'll bet you wish you had it to do all over again. Hmm. You got that right. That was the worst thing you could have said to this man. You sure about that? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's so smug. <gasps> Is that Sterling Knight? It's Sterling Knight. Since when was he a brunette? Is he naturally a brunette? It doesn't seem right. Nothing seems natural about that hair colour on him. And he's got a bowl cut. Who did that to him? Blink twice if you need help. I am extremely disappointed with my life. I never asked you to marry me. Yeah, but I did. 
that that's not on well you don't have to do me anymore. that was a low blow they aren't gonna get a divorce by the end of this i already know oh is someone actually there oh oh it's the it's the godfather the fairy godfather he's testing mike is he a good person <gasps> okay but fairy godfather's not real is he it's Zac Efron! Jump in! And then he's 17 again. Hence the title. He hasn't looked in the mirror yet, has he, Mike? You're young! You have your hair back! Oh, hell yeah! So many murders and deaths are about to occur in this film, or could occur. Oh wow, I feel great. How did he jump from that height and not like break an ankle? I don't care how young you are, that jump's gonna break your ankle. Someone's gonna die in this film. It'd be a really cool story if it just turned out that Ned went on like a murder spree or like was insistent on killing Mike. Did they just show that shot twice? I swear they just showed that shot twice within the car. Finally, Ned sees it. It's a miracle no one died in that scene. The whole sequence. Alex, Alex. <gasps> it's Sterling Knight again! Oh my god, you peed yourself. Control yourself, man. Come on. Why is he just leaking everywhere? And I vowed I would never go back to that godforsaken place. Never, ever. I've seen this scene too ever. many times. Never, never, ever. And we'll cut to it, he's in the school. Almost like this kind of plot's predictable. So. Oh no, that is not a look. Okay. <gasps> That's where I recognise her from. She was in Hannah Montana the movie. Bam! She's just got a different hair colour. Your hair is pretty. Would the lady mind if I smelled it? That is a step you do not take. Ned needs to back off. Do I know you? <laughs> What did you do, Mug <laughs> <laughs> It's Bonnie from the Vampire Diaries. Is everyone under the sun just in this film? Apparently so. If they do a plot where his daughter Maggie in this becomes interested in younger him, I might have to just exit this life. I'm a lot closer to them than you think. Hey, <laughs> the voice crack. No, do not become interested in him. Do not. No. We are not doing this plot. That boy were an apple, he'd be a delicious. No, that... Yeah, same. Get. The same coach and he hasn't aged a day. Good for you, Coach Murphy. Drop the skincare routine. I need you to get in trouble. Not like, like big trouble, just enough trouble so that the principal needs to meet with your father. Ned, stop being a creep. She wasn't interested. We leave it at that. But I feel like this film might end up with Ned and the principal together. Alex? Oh, poor Alex. Why are Alexes in these shows and movies always bullied? Yeah. Oh. So if someone makes fun of Alex right now, I will fight them. That's where we're at. Okay, we do not support Stan. Hate we hate that guy. If I wanted you in the cafeteria, I would have taped you to a lunch lady. Oh, a not his head. Punk. You don't talk to him that way. Yeah, slap him. I'm ready for a fight. Come on. Someone's going to be murdered in this film. I can just tell. Someone's dying. What am I going to do? I'm going to murder you, bitch. 
I'm gonna call your father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got reflexes like Edward Cullen. Or Troy Bolton. Choose your fighter. It'd be way too easy to say Stan praise in the week simply because he's a dick. No. 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 Okay, this really reminds me of status update though with Ross Lynch. I can see how much they uh, took inspiration from this film. But I mean, also the creators of Status Update made 17 again, so. Come on, don't be shy. Break out into song. High school was right, but it's not about basketball. It's about the highs and lows of high school football. Mm. What was that? His jacket was falling? Or it was a dance move? Sometimes Zac Efron forgets he's not in a musical. Wow. You look Ooh, just like we my Oh, husband. why is she pulling at his cheeks for though? Scar, you're way too close to him. He's 17. Black off. You were too comfy mushing his face. Oh, the bacteria. I hope she washed her hands, but I know she didn't because she just got out of the car. I'm just saying, Naomi. Naomi. I don't care. <laughs> cool back. <laughs> we're so cool, we're so quirky. That's what the writers said in their writing room. Got him. They were proud of themselves, I can tell. I would have been too. <laughs> you don't need these. <laughs> Stan, give one to Mark. No. No, you know what? He's right. He's right. I don't need one. You know why? You know why I don't need one? Because I'm not gonna use one. one. And you feel that tiny heartbeat. No. You know that you couldn't. Love Maggie, do not start looking at Mike like this. Not on my watch. You can do Back it. off. That's your dad. No. <laughs> See, they're really wanting someone to get murdered in this film. Again? He killed someone already, didn't he, Stan? That was a questionable sigh. Do I want to know what previously happened in the room or what she was looking at on her laptop? No, I do not. Realize that whole lady cougar hunting, the mothers I'd like to, you know, whatever, thing is big with you guys, right? With you high school. Oh, I don't like the way this conversation is going. Bro, why would you even bring that up? The fact that it was also kind of on her mind. No. I'm uncomfortable. We aren't making them a thing. But I think we also are. I'm on my own, I'm on my own. He's like, you don't want me to be your stepdad? I'm an amazing dancer. What? He's like, I've been watching you through your window every night. He's actually watching her through the window behind her. He's in the mirror. Or is that Maggie? It's Mike. Oh, he actually was watching her. Oh, I kind of predicted that. I hate my own psychicness. That's secret child rape dancers. Watch this be their song or something. That's funny. That's the song that my husband and I danced to at our wedding. It's their song. Predictability here is at a 10 out of 10. Mom? Yeah. Scar, do not be looking at him like that. He's 17. Hey, Again. Alex. I'm your Poor Alex, he's witnessed too much at this age. If you had some ominous music, this could have been set up for like a murder plot. Mike murders every guy Scar dates. I'm really rooting for the murder plot here, but I know it's not happening. Sadly, it would really spice up this film. Could serve some oxygen in there. Don't scream, you have a limited amount of oxygen. Murder? There's actually gonna be a murder. Stan, we need to find out why he was in prison, because I'm telling you, boy committed murder or attempted it. He's crazy. Hey, don't say that about Stan. You don't even know him. Oh. He has boys locked in a box and he's telling them to conserve their oxygen. He is crazy. He's more than crazy. This is just stalker level creepy and way too persistent. Like Ned needs to back off. If this wasn't a movie, this would not be okay. 
It's not even okay in the movie's context. But this is not a date. No, in no way a date. I am not comfortable with this situation. Yes. Yeah. I would love to. Great. Oh, exactly. all the Thank mixed you. signals. Yes. This is so Yay. disturbing. Thank you. That's very no, stop trying. No one in this film knows when to back off. What? What? There is no way you can convince me that the principal here actually fools for Ned. And don't pull the rubbish where she's like, I'm quirky too. I'm a nerd as well. Especially since Gandalf the Grey was only in fellowship. They went with that line that she's also a dork. No. It's the only way they knew they could make this plot, this relationship between the two of them work. And I'm not here for it. I'm just, oh God, no. There is no way. No. No. Oh no, that is Maggie's hands. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh god, it's Maggie. Oh, no, 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 no. This is so wrong. Oh my god, I'm so uncomfortable. Please stop. Oh, that was so wrong and disturbing. You want to play games? I can play games. No, 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 no. No. Hungry lioness. No one in this film understands consent and what no means. He said no. He does not want more. He never wanted anything. I am uncomfortable on too many levels. This film just, oh my, oh no. Someone help me. Baby gazelle. Oh my God, he raised a furry. Good Lord. He failed as a parent. He was right at the beginning. <laughs> Does she go to our school? Do I know her? No. Tell me your name. No. Just want to know her name. Maggie is way too invested in Mike for having known him for like a week. She better keep a close eye on you. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, please stop it. Oh. How can he ever look at her the same? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You I'm traumatized. This film has traumatized me. Hmm. This has to be a fever dream. Oh my god. God. Half time and, and oh, she's put a hand over his hand. Back off! No, 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 no. The boundaries are being way too crossed. The line does not exist with these people in this film. No. Oh, good lord. Okay. At least she slapped him. I thought he was about to like just go past the stop sign and be like. Who cares about them kids? They can fend for themselves. Survival of the fittest. See, I told you the line does not exist. You were reading less than zero. You were wearing a Guns N' Roses t-shirt. I had never seen anything so perfect. Isn't <laughs> she like, Mark, you're getting real invested in this, like way too emotionally invested. Are you okay? Do you need emotional support? Do you have mummy issues? The answer would be yes. And I felt so peaceful. Okay, but Zac Efron, gotta give it to him. Man can act. Say what you want about the guy, but man can act. And he's great in musicals. I'm a fan. I always have been. Even if I tried to suppress it in my early childhood years. I was like, I'm different, not like the other girls. But now I've seen the errors in my ways. There was nothing on the paper. Ah, the tea, the drama. Oh, I like that. Cause I was thinking, when did Mike here have time to write a note? It's time to move on. What's with the amount of fade outs in this film though? They've used it like four times now where they just fade to black and you open to another scene. They could just cut to the other scene. It just kind of takes you out of the film for a second. The scout from Ohio State is back, and the coach is with us. We play the scout's gonna be the fairy godfather. I know it. <laughs> Hi. I need to talk to you. Hey, what are you doing? I practiced this. 
No, ah, just lines, man, lines. I cannot stress it enough. It irritates me how much they crossed lines in this film, like every character. I just feel drained at this point. We can plunder my dungeon any time. Oh, no, 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 we did not need that line. We did not need that line. Mm, some things I wish I could unhear and unsee. Is that what oh my God. Mike did at their first game? It must be what Mike did at that game. I can't be here again. I have to go. But Mike can be 17 again. The writers were also proud of that. I know that for a fact. <gasps> the exact same thing's gonna happen. Mike's gonna chase after her. It's a classic transformation story. Spirit guy. Mike's realizing he would have done nothing different. Your turn now. Oh, he passed the mantle down. <gasps> the fairy godfather. Scarlet. Oh, we're saying goodbye to Zach Efron and hello to Matthew Perry again. I see Matthew Perry's head. I can already tell it's him. I miss Zach Efron already. I'm sorry, Matthew's great, but I miss Zach Efron. You're the best decision I ever made. I just forgot. He forgot for like 20 years, that's so tragic. Look, I, I know that I've been in a bad mood for the last 20 years. It actually has been 20 years, oh my god. Let me, I swear. <laughs> Poor Scarlet, man. I'll spend the rest of my life making it up to you. You better. 20 years of moodiness, now that's not fun. Scarlet already had a thing for touching people's faces. I don't respect it. I'll, I'll work on it, maybe I'll jog home. Wait, is that the end? Oh, they officially stated it's the end. Oh, extra scene. Okay. Well, that's the end. Wow. Feelings, lines, despair. That film wasn't bad. It definitely helped that Zac Efron was in it. Had he not been in it, I don't know if I'd have been able to sit through it as peacefully as I did if we can say it like that it wasn't bad it just um the lines that are being crossed frustrated me because people just weren't using their common sense I'm glad I finally watched that kind of classic everyone knows about 17 again when it came out I was eight so it wasn't really targeted towards me it's more like teens this film but yeah I'm glad I finally seen it I can say I've seen 17 again do I want to see it again no Zac Efron saved it Matthew Perry's also just a legend. Uh, that's that. I'm tired of hearing the sound of my voice and I'm sure you're tired of hearing the sound of my voice, so I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching, have a nice rest of your day and adios!